Pilot 5 coming to you from the Tropics View Hotel in Hatfield, Manchester, where the keynote speaker for the launch of the mobile app RX Pack by Horton's Pharmacy is none other than the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness. Good evening, Mr. Prime Minister. Uh, good evening, Cliff. Good evening to your listeners, and particularly your listeners here in Mandeville. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm You're good. good? I'm good. I had an opportunity to go around the country to do what I like to do, which mm -hmm. is to interact with the people. I got to see firsthand, really, some of the challenges. And it's, it's always good to have this kind of interaction, particularly midterm, midterm. Mm -hmm so that you have an opportunity to recalibrate policies where it is necessary but you get an opportunity for people to vent yes. you, know, you know cliff i i i'm gonna write a book soon oh i have to yes uh, after you know almost you know eight years of government and 27 years in politics mm -hmm. there's a lot of experiences that need to be placed in context uh, because one sees the possibility mm -hmm. of people repeating mistakes, yeah. meaning we haven't learned from history. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the long suffering of the Jamaican people creates a kind of what we call a, a, a kind of political culture mm -hmm. that um, does not necessarily support our long term development. Jamaica needs a long period of stable development. Mm -hmm. And um, because of grievance politics, because of you know, people are frustrated with the current situation, uh, and especially where they see growth happening in some areas, where they see some sections of the society benefiting from government policy, uh, in the context of high rises going up and uh, you know more cars being imported, and you know people are growing, businesses are growing. Uh, but then and they're there not is, feeling it. And, but there is a, a, a set in the society, a, mm. a, a demographic, mm. that is not necessarily seeing it happen for them. And there is this impatience. Will it happen for us? Will government policies last long enough to get to us? Mm -hmm. uh, and I've seen several things like that. For example, you know, I, I was in Raytown campaigning, and a young lady came up to me and she said, Prime Minister, you can't increase the minimum wage. <laughs> I said, but I just did. I increased 100%. It tells you that, yes, it's 100%, but the wages were very low to start with, mm -hmm. and then the inflation. Yes. So there are real challenges, and so we, tell we, me can't, we can't so ignore those. Having had that experience, mm -hmm. being on the road, yes, you're about to craft a budget. You're running with a timetable now the, the, of the, no more than 15 months to the next general elections. You're in trouble politically, given the results on Monday. Yes? The, the opposition came out of those elections stronger. Yes? Are we likely to see a budget that reflects what you dubbed here this evening and before a caring economy? So let's deal with a couple of things. The opposition thinks they are stronger. Um, the opposition base came out. They still were not able to overcome our base which did not come out fully. You ended up with 285,000 votes. They, they came out with about 305,000. But they still 000. were not able to overturn the structure of the local government in terms of the number of seats won. Hmm. Um, but they, again, they defeated you on the number of seats. So they are no, at 113. No, no about in, in the terms of the number five. of councils, hmm. which is really the measure of yes. the, the, the victory of the local government. Yes. Uh, the, so the, the, the issue is You that underperformed. Nobody disputes that, that our base did not come out. That is clear. And there are many issues which could have contributed to that. As I've said, frustration, grievances, all kinds of issues. And those have to be properly analyzed. Mm -hmm. In any event, even if we didn't have a local government election going into a general election, we would have had to analyze what the current state of play is. You now have the best poll <laughs> in the local government to tell you. Actual votes. Actual votes to tell you where you are and what you need to do. So in a way, it is a kind of blessing in disguise for us to have this you know, really um, good 
lay up the land, establish. So it's we a wake-up call for you and your administration. I think it is. It is. We knew this was the situation. Oh, so you knew. We, we knew this was the situation. Um, the the issue now is, how do we increase the pace of delivery? It's it's a you know most Jamaicans will say that the government has done well. There's there's mm -hmm. no there's no question True. about that. Yes. The issue is the pace of delivery. Mm. How do we get it to the people who have not yet benefited in the society? And that will speak to the capacity that, of right. the public service to deliver. So if you notice, we started the year with a, a, a mantra. I said, this year we have to focus on peace and productivity. Mm. Um, I think we are, we are making some ways towards peace. Mm -hmm. The productivity issue has not really been fully addressed. So the public sector has a very important role in the ability of the government to deliver. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and so the, the, the wage issues are still a concern, but we, we still have to get to performance management mm -hmm. if we're going to be able to increase the pace of delivery. I noticed the budget this year has moved by 30% over last year, from well, just over $1 trillion to $1.3 trillion. Well, that's the point I've been making, that we, we have an economy that is producing mm -hmm. increased revenues. And I'm not saying that this is going to always be the case. Mm -hmm. We have to m keep on managing the economy, which is why, you know, look, I went out very hard for a local government election because we have been at this juncture in our history before where we had the economy turning around and then because of frustration, fatigue, mm -hmm. The electorate, the political party. You know, well, you are the student of politics. Yes. The electorate made a decision, and then we, stuck, you know, we got in a lull for eighteen years. Uh, and it's, you know, if if people are quarrelling about water and roads, really reflected on it and say, how long have you had this problem? Mm -hmm. In ninety percent of the cases, it's long before this administration, long before the other administration, and the other administration. It is now that we are in a position to be able to deliver to be mm. able to uh, truly address the problem. We have never had a program like the SPAR program. Mm -hmm. The other programs, like MIDP or JD, these are funds that we had to borrow. Mm. This is the first time we're able to take from our budget yeah. and say we're going to deliver. Mm. And that is being done. So for the people watching you yes. this evening, um, next month, when the budget... Look, why do you want me to tell you what my budget speech is right here? Well, give me a I give him the, the budget speech will be read on the 21st. And there, there will be... I've been saying it. We have to build a caring economy. We knew this. This, is my, this has been my statement long before. Mm. The, 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 the frustrations are real. Mm. You know, when, look, you know, when, when you go across Jamaica, there are two stark things now. You're seeing lovely highways being built, but you're also seeing some terrible roads. That juxtaposition must create a sense of, you know, the inequity and, mm -hmm. and, you know, am I going to be left behind? Yeah. Uh, people may not believe government when we say, listen, it's coming to you. I want it now. Mm -hmm. uh, and in a competitive political atmosphere, it is good fodder for an opposition to utilize. We, we know this. I'm getting the wrap-up signal. Yeah. Let me ask you. Did mm -hmm. you fire Warmington or you demanded his resignation or what? This what happened? question keeps... He keeps coming up. In our Westminster system, you know, once the Prime Minister, whoever the Prime Minister is, says, come, let's talk, you, are, you know what the position is. Our protocol, our convention, is that once you're calling, um, you know, you say, Prime Minister, I offer. You don't wait until somebody says, you're, you're, you're fired. And under that convention, it's a firing. It's a dismissal on the Westminster. Look, Everard is someone who has worked very hard in the party. Everard is known for his outlandish comments. I spoke with him. He's regretful. He sees the, 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 the difficulty that it posed for the, the, the party. And in a deep discussion with him, he explained that... Today? Today, mm -hmm. yes. And, and yesterday as well. Uh, um, which was a result of his, his, his press release. He, he explained, you know, what, what happened and what led him to it. But as a, as a minister, 
uh, I think he, he understood. You had had one too many from him. Uh, as a minister, yes. you, you, you have to you had lost be confidence. very careful about you had lost your statements. Confidence in him, as a minister, you? he has to be very careful about his statement. You had lost confidence in him, didn't you? As a minister, yes. I think as any minister, yes. you have to be very careful about their statements. Are you going to be retooling Belmont Road now? Belmont Road, the retooling had started long before, but it definitely needs to be intensified. Mm. Yeah. So, you know me, I'm a very frank person. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Um, our, our supporters know, and the Jamaica Labour Party supporters are our, our greatest critics. Mm -hmm. um, if they don't feel comfortable, they are not going to vote in a fanatic way. And they did not come out, 120,000 so, of so them. So they, they, they hold us to account, and yes. they, they are sending us an early early message to get to pull up our socks and yes. get our, our show on the road. Well, you work like a dog. You campaigned Could like you a say, like, you know, I, I, you know, I, I you know, you work like a I did. Yeah? In Gale at 2 o'clock in the morning and end up losing it? That's hard. It's, it's hard. Thank you, But Prime we worked. <laughs> Thank you. You tried. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness, speaking with us here nationwide at 5. Time for the break.